Initial peace talks tended to slow the progress of the war. When we first heard about them, the attitude of most men in the line was, well, hope it works, but let's keep our powder dry. General Soule welcomed new strength to the division as the Philippine Expeditionary Force came to take their place with the United Nations forces. These rugged troops fought with distinction. Although the topography of the Philippines resembles the Korean countryside, they had to endure great changes in climate, a condition difficult to overcome during a time of war. There were troops of other nations, too, who fought with the Rock of the Marne men. Belgium and Greece sent battalions. These units became part of the pool of strength which the 3rd Division contributed to the fighting up and down the hills of Korea. A brief lull came to an end with Operation Cleanup. Tanks went on the move as the plan was put into action. It was designed to disrupt supply and communications lines, destroy troops, knock out artillery and mortar positions, and occupy the ridge line running west of Chorwan. The division plan of cleanup merged with orders from Corps for the establishment of the Line Jamestown. Tanks and infantry battered their way forward to secure positions that would simplify the problems of supply to the forward areas. Bunker positions were established as Jamestown was nailed down. Then the division was pulled out, having been in the line continuously for more than 10 months. 